All right, all right. <laughs> string power! <laughs> string power, baby! <laughs> oh my. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. We got a really special video today. We're gonna test out free fall and string pins on these 10 pin lanes here at Lucky Nine. So we're lucky enough to have string 10 here, built in the 90s, along with free fall. So we're gonna throw some close up shots, see what the carry is like on these older string machines. So we're down here at the high end at Lucky Nine lanes. If you look behind me, we actually have 12 lanes of convertible five pin and 10 pin string machines. And these have been here since the 90s. Now sanctioning isn't quite as old as that. It's only been about the last five years or so here in Canada. And very recently, USBC has approved it for use in the United States. So average wise, from what I've been told, it's not a huge difference. So for a bowling center, it makes sense to convert to string pins. There's less power draw, there's less moving parts, there's less parts to replace, and there's no need to have full-time mechanics on all the time. For these machines here, it's as simple as a detangle, and you can train almost anybody in a bowling center to do that. So overall, it's gonna be more profitable and keep more centers open for longer. So if you've been paying attention online lately, Facebook for the most part, YouTube, everyone's talking about like the string carry. Uh, strings of pins hitting other strings and carrying the pin, knocking it down when the pin actually doesn't hit the other pin. So people are very concerned about that and they think it's gonna kill the game of bowling. Quite honestly, down at Bowl Expo last year, the new Cubica AMF string pin machines, I was bowling on it and it took me seven frames to figure out it was even string. It was extremely free fall like and they've really done a good job of improving the string on string action as they would say. And I just think the new machines coming out would get better and better. String on string action, what? <laughs> oh, what's, what's so funny about that? So there's been a, some stats out there of free fall versus string in Canada, and the average overall average is only about a two pin difference, right? So we're not seeing a crazy amount of carry, a crazy amount of high gains or anything like that on the strings. And these are the really old string pins, so we're definitely gonna get some weird hits. And we're gonna see if we can bowl a really big game here. All right, so we're gonna do a five man Baker game and I'm gonna lead it off. Because every good lefty should leave it off. Just stand in front of the gutter. <laughs> in front of the gutter. I mean, what's the pattern? Route 66? Boards. Route 66. <laughs> the left side was hooking, right? <laughs> I had some trouble today. Wow, that was a good hit. Very that nice. That was a really good hit. Very nice. <laughs> that was like 10 back. <laughs> okay, my turn. Oh, I'm actually shocked. All right. Tangle. <laughs> Problem number one with strings. <laughs> old, old machine. Oh, it fixed itself. <laughs> it did fix itself. All right. A seven pin looks off. Woo! Very nice. That's a double. One take, baby. Okay, take take for me. Right, we've got a two bagger going. All right. Do you move here? First perfect rack there. All right. Black Venom on the strings. Gotta play deep. Her. Oh. Boo. Oh. Yeah, I look realistic to me. Yes. You actually push <laughs> out of the way. You stop that? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try and make a spare. Well, we're gonna throw back up at the spare. Very questionable whether or not the pin hit the 10 pin or the string did. We maybe we'll see in the close up. I think you that should have been a chop. <laughs> maybe. But anyways, we're bowling well. Double eight spare. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Alright, anchor. Jungo's our main anchor for the Swisses. <laughs> Usually on free fall, not string. Let's see it, Axiom. Oh. <laughs> what the heck is that? Is that realistic? <laughs> As you can see, our score on screen. What do you think we're doing so far? You, you impressed? Surprisingly good. I mean, I didn't think we'd start with a double, so. <laughs> and even the bad shots, like it's not leaving anything gross that's not sparable, so. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Right boys, good, same thing. Yeah. High flush looks the same as free fall pins. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, Jungo. 
Yeah. Very normal. Nothing weird yet. I threw a strike. That's the only thing that's weird about this video. <laughs> <laughs> Second half, boys. One thing I'll say is the racks aren't as good on string versus free fall. Loft. Ooh. See, I deserved a lot worse than that. <laughs> Three, six, seven, nine. I should have left a big split there and somehow with the strings it got broken up. So we're seeing a little difference there on that shot. How's the pin action here? Normal. Normal. Nice. Clean. 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 All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll give you some. Got a good rack. If I can leave a mark here, then I've done my job as the worst bowler on this team. <laughs> Come on, hit that. Oh, looks pretty good. Oh! Two for two. Oh, down a ball to high flushes on the strings. <laughs> all right, three holes. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> I was like, good, your turn? No. Last time, touch high. Let's the move. Only two-hander. We'll wait for a second. We're ready. We got a... That one and two, look, one and two looks a little far. <laughs> okay. We're going to move a little bit left off of the last one. Woo! A little funky, but we're good. We're good. That seems pretty real. I think they would have the gone mixer. that way. That's a pretty real for a light mixer. Yeah. We can say. <laughs> I think the pin will break. <laughs> All right. All right. Set us up. We got a two bagger going. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> it moved the ten pin to the side. <laughs> pretty real. Pretty realistic. Is this more or less makeable with the string? <laughs> I think it's the same. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow! <laughs> string power! <laughs> string power, baby! <laughs> We're clean! We're that. clean! <laughs> Unreal. Let's go jungle! Ah, too easy. Too easy. I'm gonna try and hit it light. Just to uh, get a little different pin action. Don't do that, like what I did. <laughs> Trying to hit light, Jungo says. Go. Ooh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, that was light. <laughs> Last ball of the entire game. This is already an amazing game. Hey, you know if uh, you make this 7-10, you beat Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Oh my. Still on the lanes, but we just bowled a 212 as a Baker five man team. Very impressive. Good job. Round of applause. Round of applause, round of applause for everyone. Yeah, yeah 212 <laughs> with two splits. Pretty crazy. Including the 710. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, overall thoughts on the strings. Jungle, what did you see? Uh, well, when you went high flush, uh, there was no difference at all. All the pins went straight back, just like a normal free fall. But when you started hitting a little light, that's when we started to see some funky pin action, right? Some things falling a little late, some things falling a little weird. And uh, especially on the spares, right? Multi-pin spares is where we definitely saw the strings come into play, right? Hoots left the 3, 6, 7, 10. Spared that out with ease. <laughs> Jungle up the 710. Spared that out with ease. Right? The strings, I don't know why. It just, it just makes spares. I think if you throw the ball hard with like a 15 or 16 pound ball, like 
your split conversion rate has to go up ridiculous. Yeah, just yeah, a wallet sure. speed really. Took yeah. Mitch <laughs> 48 tries to make a 710. Took Jungle Well, you didn't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> so 48. Well, in my opinion, especially with the strings having a little bit of tension versus obviously Freefall has there's no tension, um, it's just easier to bounce the pins around. A little bit of tension brings it back onto the deck, and that makes it a lot easier to make those splits. So, in conclusion, we only bowl the 212, so not everything strikes. You hit the head pin, you don't automatically strike. You still gotta hit the pocket. You still gotta go high flush in the pocket to get a strike. And as you see, if you miss the head pin to the right or hit the head pin right on, you're still gonna leave multi-pin spares and stuff like that. So, pins just don't fall down out of nowhere. Even with the old strings here, uh, I don't see much of a difference in score, especially for bowlers who average under 200. So that's just my opinion. So question time with the JR Pro Shop crew. Have you ever bowled on string pins before? And if you have, what was your experience? Let us know down in the comments. And as a bonus question, let us know if you enjoyed this style with our Baker game with the five of us, and let us know what challenge we should take on next. Take that, Mitch, one for one, seven tenths. <laughs> <laughs>